good morning you guys so i just picked up some stationary stuff that we need for one of the biggest diy projects which we're gonna finish today i'm very excited about it i will take you along for that ride downstairs is a friend lori she is a dental hygienist and she also does teeth whitening so scotty is currently having his appointment these are all the little appointments that you want to get done before your wedding if it's something that's important to you so i am going to get my teeth whitened as well they're pretty white right now but I just feel like I have surface stains from all the tea I drink all the time and Scotty from all the coffee um and then I went to Sephora and picked up a couple of things but I think oh, I can show you them right now so I also had to pick up a new sticky bra for the dress um I had brought my other one because I actually had a final fitting and then I picked up a new one I picked up this one it's called the natural and it has these little like poles in the middle. I picked it up because you don't want used sticky on an important day like this because it's gonna be so humid, this thing's gonna slide right off me if it's not seriously stuck there. So I think I might bring some alcohol swabs as well just to really stick her on there. And then next up, hi Rosie, how are you girl? She's been so good by the way. Um, next up, I picked up four Jo Malone candles, which is very extra, very, 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 very extra, um, as well as the perfume Peony and Blush Suede, because I've never used that perfume before, and I want it to be my wedding perfume, so that it brings me back to that day, just like The Bachelorette. So, they wrapped it up in all this tissue. They normally do, with Jo Malone, a really, really beautiful wrapping job, but I was very much in a rush but here's the bottle it's so stunning and i think it will just match so perfectly with the aesthetic of the day and i can use it in my flat lays i'm gonna message ray as well so she she knows and i already messaged dallas dallas is oh, am i still recording yeah my bright red backpack in the back dallas is our wedding planner and she is so wonderful and here are the candles and so oh they are strong Strong. And so we are going to spread these around the event throughout the day. So we're thinking like at the bar have one, at the signing table have one, and then there will just be that waft of scent. Scent? Scent. Oh, got a lot on my mind. There's a little nose print on here. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Um, so that this scent will be the scent of the event. The scent of the event. And then hopefully when other people smell this, it will take them back to the wedding day as well. Oh, I had a tester of this. The best thing you can do for scents like this is to get a tester, try it on your skin for like a week, and then you'll know for sure. And so I did that. And then you'll know for sure, for sure, for sure is when you go to reach for the tester and it's fully out and you're like, darn it, <laughs> I wish I had more of that. So yes, so excited. I was going to film a couple little bits in Sephora for you, but I actually didn't have an SD card with me. The woman who helped me though was incredible and she was worried that we didn't have candles um, at that store. We, they didn't have candles at that store, but she managed to find four in the back and she was so excited. So that really brought me a lot of joy today. Checking one thing off my list, not having to go to another location and just someone out there in the world being excited for you is so lovely. Let's go get ready for a little appointment and hang with Scotty and Lori. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you and you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna, I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday
Good morning, you guys. I just hit the gym, had an awesome workout with Sid. Here's some clips from that. But I am so hungry, I need to go get something to eat. Last night, I really wanted to film, but everything was just so busy. And when you're in that final countdown, like we are three days out. When you're in that final countdown, you're just like, go, gotta go, gotta get things done. Um, me and my dad finished the biggest DIY of the wedding. And I can show it to you now too. It is our big card ball and I'm so proud of it. It has taken so, so much work, but I think it's gonna be such a fun feature of the wedding for people to find their seat and get a little love letter for us. Now it's still far from being done because we have to write all those letters. But don't worry, Scotty and I are on the case. We have a lot of writing to do over the next little bit. I need to find some time to sit down, write my vows. I have so many ideas, so many little notes written down to write and then our speech what I want to say to my parents, what I want to say to Scotty's parents, and everyone who is joining us, and then all of those cards, which is gonna be a lot of work. Right now, I am headed, I'm actually gonna turn my car off because I don't wanna waste gas. On my way to Dermetics, because I'm having my final hydrofacial, I am having my wedding hydrofacial, as well as dermaplaning again to get rid of all of that peach fuzz so my makeup will fit, sit so perfectly on my skin. On Thursday morning, um, my bridesmaids, it's always awkward when someone literally walks by you and you're like vlogging. On Thursday morning, my bridesmaids are getting their hydrofacials and I'm gonna be filming that. And that is when we have our rehearsal night. So that will be so, so much fun. But I feel in a bit of a tailspin, in a way where like, I don't think I'm gonna have any time to just sit down and just take a deep breath. And so I'm really trying to soak in the moments of these appointments versus seeing them as tasks that I have to get done. Because in reality, they're supposed to be pampering moments. Like tomorrow I get my nails done with Monica and it's gonna be so fun. And I keep telling myself all of those things. So I really wanna enjoy the hydrofacial. I really wanna enjoy, I also have my hair trial today, which I'll take you along with me at Bubbles and Blow in Burlington. Nikki's gonna be there at noon. I'm yawning because I haven't eaten anything today and that's absolutely horrible and I do not recommend it. I do not condone not eating before a workout or anything. It's just been so busy and I am horrible with that stuff. That is my biggest red flag. So I need to get something to eat before this hydrofacial so that I'm not laying there so hungry wanting to sleep because I'm so hungry and then my belly is rumbling because girls, you have to eat. Eat. <laughs> um, a little sip of tea and we're off. Also that workout this morning was so fun. I just love Sid, I love Ali so much. I love being at Benchmark. If you're looking for a local gym and you're looking for good vibe energy, it's like the best, the absolute best. Okay, you guys, so I have officially arrived at Dermetics and they've actually blocked off two hours for me. I hope you can't hear that diffuser, maybe. Um, but today we're gonna do hydrofacial, we're gonna do dermaplaning, we're doing the whole bride treatment and they are so lovely here. They're gonna let me film and kind of like bring you along with me. All I have on right now is mascara and some sunscreen and we are also in one of their rooms that is like darker and calming and they've got the spa music going and Chelsea, one of the technicians that's um, helping me out today, she's just going to get me a robe. So that is gonna give me the full spa treatment. So I'm gonna take you along the way with just a couple of B-roll shots hopefully and then I can explain the rest of the treatments just like I always do um, after. starting with the dermaplaning and this is what it looks like and Chelsea was saying that this is the most satisfying part look at how much hair comes off there oh my goodness <laughs> seriously the most satisfying she's been collecting it for us to show you at the end but this is going to ensure that your makeup goes on so nice and smooth that you're taking off that layer of skin that doesn't need to be there, exposing that really fresh skin. You can also do this with a 
chemical peel, I guess, but this is more like a mechanical way of removing those dead skin cells. That is actually more than I ever would have. <laughs> than I ever would have. Look at these long ones. Nobody would ever think it though, right? No. Chelsea and I are so similar. We're so blonde and fair. And you would never think that all of this hair came from my face. Oh yeah, you can almost like see the shine on my cheek. It's you like, can. It's so and we haven't even applied the product to that spot yet. I love that. So I have officially arrived at Bubbles and Flow Burlington with Nikki. And look, she's even wearing her bridal white blazer today. I can wear this for you. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I was like, I can't wear it in the morning. I can't wear it today. Adorable. You can. I How would love it. my curly iron. Um, and we're gonna be trying to go for, I'll show you this. I really like the idea because it's gonna be a hot day of doing something like this Paris look. Yes, and then Nikki even ordered me for this, for having that up, an extra piece that's gonna come in here and then do, come on, focus. And then do like a nice tighter bun that we can just wear the rest of the day. And I feel like we should figure out as well when that transition will happen. I yeah. think um, at, like after, after your, you walk down the aisle and you break before yeah. the wedding reception, like because even before like, they announce you, because even like golden hour photos will look so beautiful with it up. Yeah. So before they announce you. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's been like. Hey. So we have officially made our plan of the timing of everything, and Nikki basically just has to have the hair that's down last for like an hour and a half. And then we're gonna put it up and it will be all nice and controlled. She just put so much mousse in there so all of the curls will last. Yes. Oh, question for you actually, oh, sure. which would be helpful, yes. is for brides, people always say that they, like, stylists want quote unquote dirty hair, not like super clean hair. Is this myth? Is this true? We want like night old hair. So like wash your hair the day before, yes. And okay. then come with it dry. Okay. It's One just sleep. gonna help set it. Okay. Yeah. But yes, don't come with like wet hair. Yeah, don't come with wet hair. <laughs> they don't like that. Be happy. <laughs> Nikki has perfected this Hollywood curl. Look at that. Okay, so I forgot my vlog camera on such a fun day of appointments, but I was just with my dad. We were practicing our dance together. And right now I am at the nail salon I go to. It's called TT Nails on Brand Street. If you're in the Burlington area, I always ask for, honestly, all the girls there are so amazing. So I am going to get a French manicure. I lost a nail the other day, so I am very excited to get these all cleared up. And one of my bridesmaids and best friends, Monica, is also gonna be joining me. So that's gonna be so lovely. Pedicure, the full shebang. And then it's back to doing the rest of the DIYs, letters, writing. I have to finish a speech and it's all systems go baby because tomorrow is the rehearsal and I am so excited. I have butterflies. Writing my vows this morning was a literal surreal moment and I can't believe that happened, but I love them and I am so, so excited.
So I didn't do a ton of vlogging yesterday, but yesterday was so fun. I wish I had gotten a clip of me and my dad practicing our dance. It's so, so cute. And he was just like so proud when we nailed this one routine. We were like, okay, let's go for the routine. And we have this like little routine. I think I have inadvertently by mistake lost weight before this wedding because this used to sit right here and now it is falling down. Um, I've been horrible absolutely horrible so the plan when this wedding is over is to get back on the wellness track big yawn because no coffee or tea or breakfast has been had yet this morning because it's been all systems go i washed my hair i did an air wrap on the ends and this morning my girls are getting a hydrofacial i've already had my skin treatment like look at this skin it's so ready for wedding makeup, dermaplaning, as well as hydrofacial. And I would have showed you clips of that. So that might actually be where I left you off besides some phone clips of writing my vows down by the water. And that was so surreal. And honestly, it is my biggest tip. One, I forgot my sunglasses. So I was literally just crying <laughs> so much writing these vows because you're like going into the depths of your soul. And it's all happy tears for sure but I wish I had had my sunglasses, so that is my hot tip. But my main tip on that is, on moments like writing your vows, romanticize that. Okay, grab a coffee, go down by the water like I did, or go to a park bench that you love, or go somewhere that maybe you met, or something that is meaningful to you, and just have a moment, and take it all in, and think, and give yourself time. I was also listening to just instrumental um, wedding songs, which probably amplified the tears more but anyways so this morning i am wearing guys i've been crushing wearing these earrings i love them so much all of them piper earrings this beautiful skin from dermetics and i've also just purchased a new nude sticks foundation so just very much my skin and then this dress is a karen millen dress it is absolutely one of my favorite things in my wardrobe because it's just perfection. Um, it's Karen Millen dress, but it's in the Lydia Millen collection. I am still in deep regrets that I didn't get it in the blue as well. And then this belt, which I think I might have to exchange for a different one, but I wanted it to be a cute little something blue. I'll just expand my lungs. Um, is from Cezanne. So that is a cute start today. This is our rehearsal day. So we are gonna get all packed up. I have to go to Dermetics this morning and capture some content for the girls getting hydrofacials. And then I'm coming back quickly. I'm gonna start to pack up a few little bits. I've got like a few little bits here. I've just got my suitcase there and I'm gonna get that all done um, so that when I come home, thankfully I'm so happy. You know when you have that instinct to have a shower? Um, earlier in the day versus later. I'm so happy that I've already prepped my hair and everything because I need to iron my rehearsal dress, which is this long one here. And those are my pajamas for morning of. And my friend Corey is coming over because she's gonna do my makeup for tonight. And it was really just, I love Corey. She's so good at doing makeup. I know she'll do an amazing job, but I also wanna support as many vendors as possible and create some content for them. So I am so ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I get married tomorrow. That is absolutely insane. So just capturing this moment, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Also, before I get to packing, wedding nails. They look so good. Lucy did such a good job on the manicure. And this is the longest I've ever had my nails, but you have to have them long to have a beautiful French, especially when it's a tip like that. So I am so excited. They're ready to go. <laughs> I, well, if you've been here for some time, you watch
watch the Bachelorette vlog, you'll know I love scenting, scenting an experience. And there is no experience better to scent than your wedding. And so what I'm doing is I'm wearing a brand new perfume. I actually just spritz some on right now because we are doing wedding things today. Today is the rehearsal day. And it's just gonna bring me back to this weekend. So my wedding perfume, Joe Malone, Peony and Blush Suede. And what I'm doing that's a little special that did cost me a small fortune, but you know what, it is what it is, is I also purchased the candle to be put at different stations around the wedding so that my actual wedding perfume is going to be wafting through the air as well. So hopefully this scent will remind others of this beautiful weekend as well. Just a little bit of inception going on. So I got four of those candles and a brand new perfume um, to wear, which I am just so thrilled about. This is my wedding bag. So let me show you. So it's from Self Portrait. Maybe I can pull you up here so we can chat. It's from Self Portrait. And one of my absolute favorite things and trends, and it's not even like a trend that I think is going to be lost. It's just very bridal. But currently bows are very popular. And this purse is quite possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen. It has some weight to it. I haven't seen her since I opened this bag. I'm so excited. And yeah, so she just has such a beautiful amount of space in her so I can put some makeup in there if I need. My phone that I'm not gonna be grabbing for during the day. Maybe this vlog camera, but honestly, I'm not even gonna be grabbing for that because we have a videographer and a photographer. And that video of the actual wedding day will come out when it comes out. And I'm not even gonna worry about it. But she is so cute. And we love her. <laughs> for my man of honor, Russell, I got him a pair of socks as well as this. It's like a little tie clip, matte black. Guys are so hard to buy for, honestly. So that's what he's getting. And then for the ladies, I got them all an all of a Piper earring set, um, or obviously a set because there are two ears, but I am so in love with these. As you guys know, these are all of a Piper, Canadian brand, women owned. Anyways, um, we are doing like a little collab on Instagram. So I got them these and I am simply obsessed. Look at how stunning these are. <gasps> Oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. I want these myself. And what I will say is, they are basically the bridesmaids version of my bridal earrings. Oh my God, I just got the biggest pang of excitement. I actually have to go because I have to go film at Dermatics. I'm gonna pack up my stuff, go. And then when I come back, we will pack the rest up. But honestly, the most important thing is just packing some underwear, I got my pajamas already in there, I got my get ready robe, and then picking up the wedding dress. I also don't wanna to forget to show you this. This is what I'm getting my mom. Mom, today a bride, tomorrow a wife, always a daughter, and best friend for life. I'm literally gonna start crying. And then I also got my dad one too. And so it's got a date and everything. Of all the walks we've taken together, this one is my favorite. As the first man I have ever loved, when you give me away, which, I mean, we don't really believe in that, but yeah. I know I will always know I will always be your little girl. Thank you for being the best dad anyone could ask for. Oh, I'm so excited to give these little keepsakes to them. I also have another thing for my mom, but I hope it comes in time. All right, you guys, I am at Dermatics again, but this time it's not for me. It is for my bridesmaids, and I want to show you what they put together. There are now patients here, so they're out in the front. So I'll show you a couple of pictures and some little iPhone videos of me like coming in this morning to greet my mom and Monica because they are our first appointment. And then these are the products that we have for them today. Um, Kim put this together and Dermetics put this together. Dermetics put this together and this is something that in the future they can kind of customize packages just depending on your budget and kind of what you want to do for your bridesmaids. So this is perfect for day of just to give everyone flawless skin after some makeup tonight. They also set up this coffee station which is truly angelic and these drinks. And they also picked up this beautiful little board from the Yum Box, which is so cute in our little pseudo 
recovery room where everyone can kind of just hang out. And then over here, there's two robes gone because again, Monica and my mom are currently having their treatments, but we have our robe as well as our little hair tie back. They're actually getting, I thought we were just doing microfacials or um, hydrofacials today, but they are doing even one step above. And this is only offered at Dermetics and it's basically their amplified version of a hydrofacial and it's called the Microgenesis Hydrofacial. And the Microgenesis is the laser and that is going to inspire your skin to have more collagen and that bounce and that glow for a much longer term because the laser reaches much deeper into the skin than just a hydrofacial clit. So they are getting like the most pampering day today. I can't believe that this is our story. <laughs> um, so I'm so grateful to Dermetics for absolutely doing all of this and I'm gonna put together so many special things for them. But yeah, just feeling all the love from the community. I'm gonna start working on a few things. I took some photos of Monica and my mom and then we have another round of people coming on in. Um, we've got Haley and Rebecca and Sarah and yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get down to Niagara on the lake today. Everyone keeps being like, you get married tomorrow. I'm like, oh my God. I know. We actually had to, um, I'm going to put this right here. Hopefully I can balance that. We actually had to adjust tonight where our rehearsal dinner will be. It is going to be, oh, I have to wear these when I go in and they're doing laser, but they're white, so they're bride vibes. Um, we were going to do between the trees, which I would have absolutely loved and was totally the dream, but it is going to rain tonight. So, um, we have shifted that to the barn, the marketplace, which is also such a beautiful location at Kurt's Orchards. There's two places you can get married, the marketplace side and the Gracewood side. So we're going to do our rehearsal on the Gracewood side, and then we're going to head on over to marketplace to have dinner, which will be stunning because it's just going to create a totally different experience. And I'm so grateful to Allie who is really in charge, Allie and Anne, at Kurt's because she was the one who was like, I wanna make sure this is a different experience versus just putting you guys in the tent. And they're gonna be shifting our chandeliers that would have been strung above us into the tent. So nice, so, so nice. So no matter what, it's gonna be lovely. You just gotta go with the flow. Gotta go with the flow on your wedding week. That's what it's like. Something? I feel like we're having this photo shoot all over again. Oh my gosh. So Corey is here. Hello in the lifeblood. <laughs> a while back, Corey and I met at the Cana wait, Fashion Art Toronto. Yes. So basically like the Fashion Week of Toronto. And she's a makeup artist, as you can see here. <laughs> and she's gonna be doing my makeup for rehearsal. So this is a very fresh face queen. And I'll show you the after, and maybe a little bit of the in between. That was a quick transition for you guys because Corey just spent this entire hour doing my makeup and I didn't vlog at all, but look how beautiful. She made it so nice and light. And what I love about artists like Corey, Angel, just here while I gas you up. <laughs> you look so good. Um, is she builds as she goes. So we were like even building the contour, even building the eyeliner. I said go in with more eyeliner and she was like, oh, did not expect that. Um, yeah, I love it, love it, love it. A mad dash. <laughs> Holy crow, that was crazy. So our wonderful dog sitter and house sitter just got to the house looking after Rosie, was helping us do like pedal cones. Scotty and I are absolutely everywhere trying to get all of our stuff together, but I think we we did it. I, we have all the important stuff, that's for sure. Almost. Almost, except for Rosie. And. And. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Very true. Um, because we're going to pick up my dress, which is so exciting. Do you know what I wish I had brought with Advil? I brought Advil, I think. Okay. Because I can already feel a headache coming on just from needing sustenance. We are going to pick up my wedding dress! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh my god! Less snowy this time. Look how beautiful! 
you guys. Don't know how much I'll be vlogging tonight. Probably not a lot. We're off to our rehearsal dinner. Do you like our outfits? We're gonna go see so many people we love. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. Let's do the darn thing. Start this weekend. That is the house we rented. Well, you did. <laughs> this countertop here. Yeah, cause then, yeah, cause then our bedroom just literally opens that courtyard. starting to arrive and get their makeup done. And this is like the most beautiful day I could have ever imagined. And the messages that have been 
coming through have been like the most heartwarming thing ever. I'm gonna go and see everybody and I'll be back. This is one of those unique moments, guys, where I'm looking at Sarkar. I knew you would. <laughs> These are our two best friends in the world. We got best friends in this house. And when they start connecting, it's like literally magic. <laughs> so at the bachelorette, I like vlogged it, but then the girls were setting up things, and so I'd be like, I right, take my vlogging camera and do behind the scenes footage. So now I'm going to do the shower. Like, so so why did you say that? Find the camera and just like take those videos already. Yes, so cute. So cute. And it was so funny when you started doing it because you'd be like whispering, you'd be like, 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 I honestly don't you yeah. just like fucking watch our videos yeah. that happened. Your birthday was. Amanda. After that, there's no more crying. Amanda. That's it. Hi, Gotta get it all out. Y'all make a line. I know. This is just stuff I look at. It's so funny. I'm like, it wasn't even a green comment. Not at all. She was just like, so funny. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do something that's gonna make me more depth. Oh, absolutely. You guys are picking up the park because you got a chance to spend my stuff. Yeah. And get used to it. Hopefully, you can share with me. Sorry, but this is going to look really nice. You guys look like angels. Nice little fruit. They are. <laughs> Gorgeous. Gorgina. I'm about to get married. That's crazy. This is my hair. And I'm about to put my dress on with my mom and Rebecca. I can't wait! I can't wait!